All right, guys, so I am back at the Arena Mall. I did a video here when I first arrived in Kampala. And uh, so this is kind of like an update video, but I'm super grateful to be here with the one and only Rachel Hi, Nalumu. Hi, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. We're going to do a little tour of Arena Mall and have a chat about malls in Uganda and why why this is actually still empty or almost as empty as when I first arrived here. So. Yeah, this is, uh, let's get into the video. Let's get into it! <laughs> so this is Arena Mall, they have uh, Frango. I think Frango and Cafeteria are both owned by the same company. Yeah, yeah. I saw it, I didn't realize what Frango was, and then I saw it in Kenya. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is like, a, it's like our Nando's, I guess, now. Because we used to have a Nando's and it closed. I think they left. Really? There was some type of controversy, but anyway, we don't have it anymore. Hey. But yeah. Facts. Spitting facts here, Rachel. <laughs> All right, should we take a look in here? Sure. Cute. Very cute. I think they've got their own tomato ketchup. I love it. I know. I wonder where we are over at Fagel. So this is the restaurant that you come into when you first arrive in Arena Mall. This shop is empty. It is, but it looks like they're constructing something. Yeah. Uh, and then there was some ice cream when you first arrived. Hi guys. How are you? Oh, do they? Well, they have the best, but they have really good ice cream. Mm. Yummy also has great ice cream. But yummy. Oh, <laughs> yummy is so good. I think they have that over yeah. at the Gogo -Go Mall. Yes, the Gogo -Go Mall. I see. Right, okay, so one thing I wanted to mention while we're here is that a lot of the, a lot of the units in this place are still empty. This watch place uh, was already here when I first came here, but mm. yeah, some of these uh, places are empty. So yeah. one of the things uh, that's quite interesting in uh, Kampala is that a lot of the commercial real estate places are empty. Yeah. Right? It's so, a reoccurring theme. <laughs> yeah. So why do you think that might be, Rachel? Um, okay, so I feel like to just mention, it's not just commercial, it's residential as well, it's the same problem. Um, I feel like what the, the number one thing, 100% to be honest, is what the asking price for is for a lot of these places does not match what the average person makes. And even if it's not the average person, just generally speaking, the economy just doesn't support these places. And there's no benchmark. People just make up prices out of their butts. Just saying whatever they want. <laughs> out of their butts. Out of their butts. They're just kind of like, I feel like this is worth this much, so this is what I'm going to price it at. And it's like, okay, so because like, they're empty, I guess. Uh, there's a lot of places that are a lot cheaper. Oh, sorry, are we, we're in your way. Not bad. Good work, good work. All right, yeah, so there's a lot of places that are empty that aren't as like, yeah. as expensive as and this. And they're for still somewhere. empty as well, yeah. There's places where you can get maybe like 500 to 1M paying per month for rent. Those buildings are empty as too. So I don't know, it's like a, it's an issue for sure. I don't think our economy supports, there needs to be regulation in place mm. for some of these prices. Like it is very beautiful in here. It though. is. It's such a very small, but it's going to have the same issue as a K-Shop. Yes. Do you know what? We'll, let's go into this uh, this shop here. This... <laughs> I've actually met these guys They're before. Friends, eh? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm doing an update video. How are you? Nice to see you again. Are you going to talk about... Are you? Oh, I feel like you have a lot more cabinets that are full. Yeah. Since the, it's a lot filler. Last time I was in here, what was your name again? Sorry, Daniela. Daniela. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. All right. This is Rachel. Hi. How are you? Yeah. Last last time I came in here, like this was empty. These were empty. You had like two cabinets filled so here, and now you have such a wide range. This section that yeah. was empty. Ah. But now we have jewelry. We have amazing. Amazing. We have I think you've got a customer actually. Yeah. You want to tell us about the perfumes first? Well, we have Dolce and Gabbana oh. mostly, but we also have a few other perfumes in this range. For example, the Elizabeth Arden, a bit of the Bulgari, because as you can see, it's Bulgari, Bulgari, and the rest, the most common, have been taken. Ah, yeah. I see. Um, 
then in the section we've got the Tabakman. Yes. Tabak is a German brand, so it's not very oh. known. I see. Yeah, but uh, it's very nice, especially for the guys. Cause What's your favorite for the guys? Is Tabak the favorite? That one? Mm -hmm. Oh, do you want to spray a bit on me? <laughs> Definitely not. All right. It's my favorite. No, but then there's another one. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Smells good. Very nice. You're going to have to be fighting the girls away from me this time. <laughs> okay. So another one that I think I really, really like in this section is the, the one. Oh, DNG. Yeah. Okay. It's very, very nice. I see. I think it's, okay, in Dolce and Gabbana try. it's better. It's more <laughs> masculine. More masculine. Mm -hmm. That is, I think, I, I think that one, it's a tough competition, but I think that one wins. Mm -hmm. Which one? This one? Or? This one. That one. That one. 100%. This is like giving beach vibes. But oh. you know, you need perfumes for a different setting. Oh. Yeah. So, I like, see, this I is see. like every day. That's for like when you go back to tea Top 10 guys. <laughs> don't just have one, one perfume. Oh my god, you said like 12. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unnecessary. For the ladies. Ooh, um, fun. For the ladies. It depends. No, she has a different opinion. Let me give her. <laughs> what a rich lady. lady. <laughs> like yeah, it was like the smell. Since I've been a kid, yeah. like I like to smell like I'm a rich woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the smell of rich ladies as well. Right. So. <laughs> rich women. <laughs> this is, we need to go this way. Yeah. Okay. Mm, it's giving the rich. Oh yeah. It's giving. It's giving, it's giving the vibes. Ooh. Let me have a sniff. Mm, it's giving the rich, but it's giving like rich vacation. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that works for you guys because we're up there. Do you have any perfume? Do you have any men's with oud? Yeah, we do. Uh, this is a basically oud. Oud. Scent because oud. it's uh, a. It's my favorite. So yes, it gives the oud vibes. All right, cool. Oh, interesting. Can I just sniff it? Yeah, spray. Yeah, that's oud. <laughs> I need coffee beans. I need to smell. Yeah. What do you have? Yo, oh, okay. <laughs> What's this? Why, why do you have coffee, coffee beans after? You know when you're a perfume shopper, you know about them coffee beans. Oh, because that, does that... Yeah, the perfumes, they just neutralize. Is that yeah. like, uh, what's it, palate, cleans the palate, the nose yeah, palate? Yeah, it cleans the nose palate. <laughs> <laughs> I see, do you go wine tasting too? <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. <laughs> this was not meant to be a Malungu tour. This was right, meant to be an sorry. arena ball tour. <laughs> <laughs> well, We're like trapped. <laughs> All right. Oh, but this I smell on a lot of people. Yeah, this one. Oh, well, you said that. Oh, that's. Uh, what did she use? To, yeah. Is that basic bitch? Basic bitch, Archie. You've seen these ones. Before. I think I've seen the psycho wow. ones before. Yeah, except we have no other ones for kids. Oh, oh nice, nice, lovely. Yeah. Those are cute. Which ones? <laughs> the Hallmark ones. Oh, they're so right. I love feminine dainty. So this one down here is two hundred and forty. You do? Mm, yep. 240,000. Are these the same as well? Those ones in the middle? Yeah. They look smaller. How come these, but these look, are smaller, no? Yeah, the face is different, right? Oh, the, uh, the, price the same price? Same. Yeah. Close. This one's 220 up here, this blue one. <laughs> okay. I think that that's not, that's not a crazy price for, uh, for a nice watch. Is very affordable. That's affordable. Yeah. They're mm. super the cute. Thing, like everyday watches. Yeah. The only thing you didn't find was the. Oh, show me. Wow. I think you're excited about showing yeah, us this I love one. Transformer on your wrist. Like you're going to call for backup and then it's going to illuminate and you're going to be like, Are you Iron Man? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's not See? I wasn't looking. You are. You're the Batman. I mean, you have to be. The manual is to the Batman. That's so cool. You should have a certificate. I think this is kind of like either for kids or for bit oh boys God. that are like my age, but also still kids. Boys my age are still kids. <laughs> That's basically yeah. most men. Most men, all men. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so obviously super wealthy people are going to be able to buy the, like super nice collection of watches if anyone yeah, wants like to buy a watch go making, there yeah. but you have to be making like good money to spend money on like expensive perfumes 
and expensive watches. Yeah, that's the reality of it. So yeah. the the clientele that are coming in here, we're gonna see Cafeteria in a little bit as well. Yeah, yeah. Be they're good if they're if you go to Cafeteria and you're gonna spend what ten thousand on a glass of passion juice. On juice, yeah. I thought you were gonna say something. Else. Yeah, juice, juice, teas. Coffee. That's quite a lot to spend on a glass of juice, right? Yeah, because you get a meal. If anything, people can get you can get two local meals. Yeah. Because on the street, a ro yeah. on a street, on the street, I get <laughs> for breakfast in the morning a Rolex. I'll get one yeah. chapati, three eggs. It cost me two thousand. Yeah. So I could eat Rolex for breakfast for five days, <laughs> or I could go and buy a juice in Cavasari. So That's it's so just true, yeah. <laughs> it's like I do these like mental math things. You want Rolex? Oh, man, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> So yeah, like there are some shops that are going to benefit from being in here, yeah. but we don't know the exact prices on the rent. Anyway, so downstairs is kind of uh, quiet. We'll go into this pharmacy they have called Good Life. Oh, good Life. It's in many places. Actually, yeah. It's also in Kenya. I think they're just a. Uh, I don't know if they're East African brand or what. Ah, but I see, brand. I see, I see. Oh yeah. You guys are East Africa. Yeah. Yeah, East Africa. Oh, okay, and in most malls, right? Yes, because there's one in Acacia. Something else I've noticed is it's all the same shops that are in most of the malls. Yeah, because those have are the ones I can sustain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll have a car for you'll have these types of things. I'll see Waikiki. The other, thing I, <laughs> the other thing I also try to make sure when I'm like coming to places like this is I was looking up who invests. A lot of the investment that's happening in Africa is from China. Yes. But, uh, a lot of people assume that, yeah, yeah, which yeah. Is tr which is true in some cases because the, the Kenya... Yeah. Na the Kenya um, train from Nairobi to Mombasa, mm -hmm. it's, uh, Chinese. Yeah. But I think this one is actually a part Ugandan and the Arena Mall is Ugandan and South African. Well, that's nice to know because I actually didn't know that. Yeah. But yeah, I do know about the China one. It's an assumption that it's majority, but it actually isn't majority right. um, owned by China. Like it's not like China owns Africa, but we still have to be very careful in yeah. terms of, yeah, just, investing yeah yeah because you don't as a, as a you don't continent. want yeah especially because you don't want to if if uh the loans are made by one country and then you renege on those loans and yes then, yeah God that type of thing after that <laughs> so anyway this place good life has everything that you need in terms of uh hair care etc apart from i'm sure that they don't have like stuff for my hair <laughs> you know what's funny Actually, I, I can't find know. I can't find hair gel anywhere. But then there's hardly any mzungus around here. So. Yeah, have you tried like maybe the Carrefour. Carrefours, maybe, maybe. Sanana Supermarket? Yeah, maybe they do. But yeah, yeah. If, if you're coming from Europe here, you know, make sure you like, bring Indian hair. There's a lot of places <laughs> that's true, that that's yeah, true. I only wear that because that's okay. Fun, fun, funny fact. That's how I take care of my wigs. I find Indian hair care products. Ah, in Uganda, so I find, like, top tactic. Thank you. And thank you. And like Dove and stuff that I would normally use. So. I see. I see. And where the Indian like people like women shop is where I go for my hair. Do you know what we should do? We should go into Carrefour. Yeah. We should show Carrefour, and then we'll go upstairs. Yeah. And then after that, we'll go and, and check out cafeteria. Cafe yeah. It's the prettiest cafeteria, <laughs> but same menu across the board. Because this see, they got. Same menu. I'm like, damn, can it bring us a little bit something different? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is car car four. This is like one of the big supermarkets. Hmm. So maybe they'll have some hair products for me in here. You never know. Yeah. So that's, that's how I shop for hair products for yeah. my wigs. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, car four. If you ever, if you're coming to Uganda and you need anything like. Just come to Carrefour. They literally have everything. Look, yeah. Even this is what I use for my wigs. L'Oreal. They have all the um, international these. brands. Have you yeah. noticed whether international brands are more expensive here? Or? Um, yes and no. Some things aren't. Like say you use Colgate, but it's a different type of Colgate. Like you can see the same packaging. But once you use it, you're like, this doesn't seem right. Something mm. is off. Yeah. I've noticed Guinness tastes different here as well. Yeah. <laughs> there's so many things where I'm like, why? what are you bringing us? I'm not really for this. <laughs> but then you'll find that the prices are on par. Uh, it makes sense for the economy. So maybe we're leaving out ingredients. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> So yeah, there's just everything you need. Fruit. There's a big fruit area as well around here. And yeah, just anything. If you need it, if you think about any supermarket that you're gonna find in Europe yeah. or the US, they you're gonna you're same. gonna have similar stuff in but here. I definitely recommend um, when you're buying market foods to go to the market. 
instead of buying from here. Yes. Uh, for sure. Especially you like get more bang for your buck. More bang for your buck, and you're also gonna get like super organic stuff because people are just bringing it straight from their farms. Yeah. So. Well, no, so there's a lot of farms that do supply for here, but then up the markup, of course, because they're yes. in a mall like a mall. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. Anyway, we'll uh, we'll continue our tour outside. Um, so yeah, one of the things that I've noticed recently is that um, they're trying to get street hoppers or street vendors off, off the, the street, off the street yeah. and into some of these markets. Yeah, I've been here. into the markets is what they want. Well, yeah, into either the markets or into uh, like shopping malls like this. Yeah. So yeah, but it doesn't seem to be working because they keep on coming coming back. The thing is. If you're to implement things like that and you and regulate, you need to actually have some incentive for it to make sense. You can't just say get off the streets and not go there. Like, what when someone cannot afford rent, that's why they're on the street, or they can touch more people. Mm. Like, look at foot traffic. If you go downtown, have you been downtown? Yeah. Yeah. So obviously, going downtown, the foot traffic in those malls is crazy. Like, the rent for those is the same amount as being uptown. I see. But. You, you, want to, traffic, you want to go whereas, past? Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be in the video? <laughs> yeah. What's your Welcome. name? Uh, my name's Abdurrahman. Oh, oh nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Philip. Philip, nice to meet you. Are you a YouTuber? Yes. <laughs> What's the channel called? It's called Unplanned Filled Land. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Alright. Um, you were saying? Yeah, so, oh yeah, downtown, like, so the foot traffic, like, you'll be in a mall that's, like, this big, and it's full, it's packed, it makes sense, like, if I'm going to pay almost a thousand dollars a month, I'm going to get the foot traffic that makes sense, but here it's empty. Yeah, 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 and you're only, you're going to get a certain type of foot traffic here as well? Yes, so, exactly, very different. So if you're, if you're not selling, like, upscale goods like the ones in that, that shop, then then you're not going to get the clientele that you're looking but for. But you'll find downtown is packed. You'll find people with like high sense who just uh, kind of pass by. We'll see it on the way to Cafe Seri, but there's people selling high sense products in downtown just because they know the foot shop. Oh. Yeah, and they'll literally charge them a thousand, a thousand five hundred dollars, whatever for yeah. rent. And they'll pay it because they know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was reading up about some of the, the stuff about street vendors and things. And even downtown, there's a lot of street vendors because they still can't afford because they're they're probably they're selling like products that are like lower margin. Yes. yes. So they can't afford they still can't afford the costs yes. of the the places. So then they'll still be outside and then they will run inside when the enforcement agents yeah. come along and try to <laughs> try to uh, dodge it. So there's a few shops. One of the updates uh, since I came here last is that some of these shops are looking like they're beginning to have tenants going to open at some point because these didn't say coming soon, so yeah. Hummel's coming in, or there's an opening opening space. Opening soon, there's a lot of those for sure. Yeah, uh, but I, I actually uh, read an article by this place where it said Knight Frank what, uh, assumed that, which is a big commercial real estate yeah. um, uh, agent, but they were saying that this place should be around 95% full by April this year. I don't, and I had to ask, I was like, at what point was this statement made yeah. because if it was pre-pandemic I could see the optimism that that could potentially yeah. happen. How are you? I hope we won't meet again. <laughs> yeah so okay cool so this uh, this area is a little um a little hello how are you? I'm surprised he's not following I think it is. usually happens to me. <laughs> <laughs> we just got into trouble for filming. So this area I think is a little um startup hub. Yeah for has, retailers. which I love. I think that's so that's a cool and, thing and, like, to do. In, yeah innovative to for them to do that. Hi, how are you? Is this part of the hub that's like if you you can come and set up shop here for a few months and see if it's working? Or is this a permanent shop? Ah, uh, permanently set up. When did you open? November. Yeah, okay. And how's business? Just a kit. So, so. Does it do anything? Slow, slow. Ah, okay. For an AirPod case. Does it like charge? The case itself charges the AirPod case. Oh, that's cool. What's the connection with the UK? Why have you got Queen Elizabeth up there? Because we get all our things. Ah, these are all UK products. I 
I see. TM Lewin. That's where I used to get my shirts for work. <laughs> That's so there funny. You go. This is I feel it I feel like I'm at home. I don't know what any of these brands are as no, Canadian. Do you know? <laughs> That's so cool. You've got TM Lewin stuff here though. It's cute though. It's All right. Big. If there's any British people coming here, <laughs> come to Arena Mall and check out. You can buy your TM Lewin shirts. Thanks guys. Okay. <laughs> and girls athleisure. Nice. Is this your shop? Yeah. When did you oh, open? Oh, it's not your shop. Ah, okay. But when did this shop open? Last year. And how's business? It's going slow, slow, or okay? Fair. That's all right. The lingo, slow, slow. Small, small. Small, small. Okay. Like athleisure stuff. Cute store. That is a cute. Gonna be shopping That's there. a super cute. Like so, so I was asking one of the one of the people said it's a permanent store that they have rather than a because the article that I saw. Hi, how are you? Hi. What are you selling? Sunglasses. Oh, awesome. we have, uh, sunglasses. Oh. Oh. Nice. Where do you import this stuff from? Is it? We get it from Turkey. From Turkey. Oh, cool. Love it. Oh, more perfumes. More perfumes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. But it's so cute. I prefer to be here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like these little, like, uh, Yeah, it's cute. Oh, it's cute. It's giving your heart <laughs> off to New York. <laughs> okay. So this is probably okay. So this place feels a lot more filled than the, the other place. Yeah, shops. so it's great. They're touching, like, affordability, like, uh, making it accessible for more business owners. We have, actually, I think worldwide, we are either the top but don't quote me because things changed COVID yeah. and stuff but like um, highest percentage of entrepreneurs in um, the world was Uganda yeah yeah but then they don't last after six months so. because that's the thing there's more there's less traditional career paths I think yeah. here that and even if you were to have a traditional career path you could be the top tier at the bank you can't like sustain you can't sustain a life and because uh, the wages aren't high yeah, enough the, yeah family like how are you gonna provide for a family like that Mm, I see. All sense. right, let's continue our tour. <laughs> yeah, they also have an LC Waikiki here, full shop. Okay, they also have like a high sense thing here. You can buy all your electrical goods. Pretty neat. And then. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Cafeteri. Hello, how are you? Hi. And you guys have baking. Mmm. How much is it? 9k for. Pastry. All right, well worth it. They have such good pastries too. I know, I know, I need to stay away. The coffee in here is also very good. You guys do cakes as well? Oh, cool. They look What is this? Two little people in bed. <laughs> Cute. Wow. Okay, yeah, so. Pretty yeah, this is the same as the place uh, time. That, so they, they were open when I first arrived here. Same as most of the other places that were here. So at least they're not getting turnover in places. Like the same shops have been here since January. Yeah, which is nice. Yeah, yeah. so that's a good one. Hi. So yeah, anyway, this is, this is Cafeseri. Very cute. I come and work here quite often. All right, and then there's an outside area, which is cute as well. Like this nice and then there's a view over the flyover yeah the fly so the flyover I think this is this is much more developed than it was when I was last here it's they, they made huge advancements for sure because they've been working on it forever but at least you're seeing progress now. yeah because this part is like uh, if we go over here, you can see there's an underpass over here. Yeah, that underpass is here. Yeah, last time, yeah. So it's great that they're building all of this, and then the flyover, the flyover goes all the way up there, and then it turns into like a kind of overpass area that goes up there. So yeah, cool. So yeah, <coughs> this is Cafeseri. 
the cool. beautiful town. They actually said they actually said that they were gonna have a cinema in here at some point as well. So where they put it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. There's a big parking lot upstairs as well. Maybe that's the next we haven't seen, but yeah, it'll be nice. All right, guys. So that is the end of our arena mall tour. Yep, it's pretty much everything to see. So it looks like this place is starting to fill up a little bit more. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's still some challenges for people here because of the low incomes of people maybe not being able to purchase the types of products that people in here are going to have to yeah. sell. And then the people here are, because they don't have a big enough market, they're kind of like obviously weighing up whether it's worth it to pay the high costs yeah, of selling yeah. in here. 100%. But as more people come to shop in places like this, like uh, to come to Carrefour to go to the supermarket rather than shopping in the market so that they can buy certain goods Hopefully it drives more traffic to... to the time will get there. There's yeah. so many other things and reasons too, for sure, um, in terms of why commercial spaces are empty, but that's one of the big ones for sure. But you can see we have beautiful products though. Yeah, so, all right, thanks so, so much for watching, guys. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, like this video, share it with a friend, and uh, go and uh, follow Rachel Nalumu's yes, channel. Rachel Nalumu at Rachel Nalumu on Instagram and YouTube, but mainly YouTube. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> go and check out her content, it's great. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Yeah.